My name is Peter Hockley, and I'm the author of the book Four Nights with the Devil, a true story of deliverance from evil. Four Nights with the Devil is the story of my experience just over 10 years ago when, as a non-religious, spiritually curious seeker, I met the devil. Now, I grew up in a family in England where nobody went to church, nobody read the Bible, and uh, we didn't talk much about God, so my upbringing was very much atheistic and secular. I had no spiritual imprint on my childhood, and I went through my adolescence with no real spiritual or religious baggage whatsoever. So by the time I was a teenager, I was very carefree and just lived however I wanted to live and did whatever I wanted to do. I did the whole nightclub thing, going out partying and getting drunk. But all the while, deep down inside of me, there was a hunger for something more. And I became aware of this aching emptiness in my heart, this craving to discover meaning and purpose to life. So for the first time in my life, I began asking the question, could there really be a God out there? Uh, is there really anywhere I can find a solid answer to the question that I have about the meaning of life? I looked at traditional religion and I was intrigued by some of the things I learned, but I wasn't really convinced enough to convert to any one religion. And it was in December 2002, I found myself standing in the religion section of a local bookshop, browsing the shelves and looking for some sort of book that could help my spiritual curiosity. And while I was looking at the various books on the shelf, I came across a book written by a man from the States who claimed that he could communicate with God, that he spoke to God and that God answered him back. The man said that he had a method of communicating with a spirit that identified itself as God. It was unlike anything I'd ever seen before or anything I'd ever heard before. Um, but there was something about that book that was just magnetic and I bought it immediately, took it home and read almost the entire book in that one night. Uh, in the early hours of the morning, when I had just a few pages left, I was virtually convinced that this author, because of the th kinds of things that this man claimed he was hearing from God, I mean, it was astonishing, I was certain he was communicating with a higher power, or a, a superior intelligence, if you like. The book was profound in some of its statements on the nature of existence, the meaning of life, and, and it just seemed that this man was onto something. The book just seemed to speak to me in ways that nothing ever had before, but I just wanted to be sure and wondered how I could possibly know that this man's story was genuine. So I had a brainwave and thought I would try and contact God in the same way that the man did. So using the same method described in the book, I sent my first message and to my amazement, uh, God, the, the, the spirit that identified itself as God, spoke back to me. It was truly supernatural, and the experience completely upended everything I thought was true and not true about the world. Uh, for every message I sent, a clear answer came back, and uh, I go into more details about the nature of that communication and indeed the content of that communication in the book, Four Nights with the Devil. But I spent the next three nights, almost all night, having a real conversation with a spiritual, supernatural visitor who came to me and identified itself as God. On the fourth day, I decided I had to tell somebody about what was happening to me, and the only person I felt comfortable with telling was a young woman I worked with who was a Christian. She was the only other person I knew who believed in God, because as I said, I grew up in an atheistic environment, and so everyone I knew, my family and my friends, Everyone was of the same non-religious mindset as myself. But this particular woman was the only person I knew who genuinely believed in God. So I approached her at work and I told her what was happening to me. And uh, she was surprised at first, but she said she did believe that I was telling the truth, that my experiences really were happening. However, she was adamant that the identity of the spirit that I communicated with was not God. In fact, she told me without hesitation that she believed it was the devil. She challenged me to challenge the spirit about its true identity. And with some persuading, she convinced me to ask the spirit to reveal himself and to ask in the name of Jesus Christ. My friend said that by using that name, the name of Jesus, 
this would compel the spirit to tell the truth. Uh, I agreed to her challenge really because I thought I was right and she was wrong. And I thought that even if I used the name of Jesus, like she said, the spirit would still confirm it was God. And I could just prove to my friend that I was right and she was wrong. So that night I did as she suggested. And I asked the spirit in the name of Jesus to tell me who it was. And to my horror, the benevolent, kind, spiritual visitor that had been with me for three days and three nights declared that it was in fact the devil. What followed was a frightening experience as I encountered the dark and satanic realm of the supernatural. Up to that moment, I had never even believed in the devil. I thought that he didn't exist. I, I imagined that Satan was a figment of imagination or a device that was used by religious people to trick or scare non-believers into going to church or something. Uh, it was the French poet Baudelaire who said that the greatest trick the devil ever played was convincing the world that he did not exist. Uh, I know that he does exist. I have encountered him and survived. What happened to me that night was unimaginably horrible, and it would have destroyed me but for the help of my Christian friend from work and her family who were able to shelter me and pull me through that experience. Today, Hollywood is filled with the occult and filled with supernatural stories. Television is just the same. Bookshops are filled with tales of vampires, witches, and boy wizards. Our society is fascinated with these kinds of stories. But that's all they are to many people. They're just stories. I beg to differ. Uh, a decade ago, my world was turned upside down forever after coming into direct contact with the spiritual realm. I'm just an ordinary guy from a non-religious background, but I am convinced about the existence of God and the devil because I have encountered them both, uh, the, both the fear of being confronted with the reality of Satan and the incredible power of God that was able to set me free. These things are really out there in the space that we cannot see or feel with our natural senses, but if we know how, we can reach out and really touch the supernatural world.